Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you how to plant early spring bulbs. Small bulbs such as crocus, grape hyacinth, scylla, glory of the snow, and snowdrops are often referred to as minor bulbs. These minor bulbs start flowering months before our perennial shrubs and trees wake up, and they're a welcome sight to both winter-weary gardeners and pollinators who are in search of nectar and pollen early in the year. Now, I personally love these bulbs because they're inexpensive, quick and easy to plant, and they return and multiply year after year. And even though these minor bulbs look different from one another, we can treat them all exactly the same. These should all be planted in the fall into loose, well-draining soil. Plant the bulbs pointy side up, two to three times as deep as the bulb is tall, with space for two bulbs in between one another. Once you have them there in the hole, backfill with soil, and don't worry about watering unless it's unusually dry. It's fun to get creative and plant these minor bulbs in a variety of different ways. You can plant them throughout the lawn, you can plant them in drifts in a perennial garden, or mix up a bunch of different bulbs and plant an extravagant bulb garden. So let's first plant some crocus in my lawn together. So when you're planting any bulb in the lawn, it's best to cut the grass first, then take handfuls of bulbs and just scatter them onto your lawn. Just throw them and wherever they land is exactly where we're going to plant them. This will give the planting a nice natural feel, almost as if nature planted the bulbs itself. I like to use a bulb planter for this, but you could also use a shovel or even a crowbar to lift the sod and the soil to the necessary depth for the bulb that you're planting. So for crocus, we need to go down three inches. So I just push my bulb planter down three inches lift up the sod and the soil, and mine stays down in here, and then I have to turn my bulb planter upside down to get it out. I'll stick the crocus bulb in the hole there, and then I'll just cover it back up with the sod and soil that came out of that hole. Now let's plant a few drifts of grape hyacinths in this garden. This garden in the summer is a full shade garden because it has apple, cherry, and willow trees but in very early spring when these bulbs bloom, it's a full sun garden because the trees haven't leafed out yet. So it's really an ideal place for early spring bulbs. And what I want to do is have my grape hyacinths bloom first, and then as their foliage dies back naturally, replenishing the bulb for next year, I want at the same time these hostas to emerge and just naturally cover that dying foliage with their leaves. So in order to accomplish this, I'm going to plant the grape hyacinths very close to the root ball without injuring the root ball, of course, of the hosta. So once again, we'll just dig a hole. And if it's helpful, you can remove some of the leaves from the hosta at this time of year, just so you can see a little bit better and get as close to the root ball as possible. Then once I have my hole dug, I'm gonna place my grape hyacinths in the hole. I like to plan in uneven numbers, groups of 11, 13, 15. It just looks beautiful and gives a really nice natural feel. So I think I'll go for about seven in this hole. Now I have all my bulbs in the hole, cover back up with soil. And in spring, it'll be a beautiful show of blue flowers over here in my garden. Next, let's create an extravagant bulb display that will bloom in succession by mixing multiple different types of bulbs. So here in my wheelbarrow, I have Scylla. That will bloom first, and it's a minor bulb like we've been talking about. Then next to bloom will be the Casada Daffodil. And then to finish the spring show, we'll have the Elegant Lady Tulip. And the planting style I like to use is the same exact method that we did over in the lawn with the crocus. Just take handfuls of bulbs, throw them all throughout the garden, plant them exactly where they land, and then it'll give us that beautiful, extravagant bulb meadow in the spring. And I do find that more is more when it comes to planting in this way. And since minor bulbs are so inexpensive, it's really easy to create an impressive and big show without breaking the bank. 
Now that all our minor bulbs are planted, all that's left to do is enjoy the beautiful early spring flower show. After these flowers are done blooming, allow the plant's foliage to die back naturally, which will replenish the bulb for the following years, allowing them to bloom again. Well, I sure hope this video was helpful, and from all of us here at Longfield Gardens, happy gardening. Bye!